Okay, today we're going to do savoury rice. Really simple basic recipe that you can add other things into. You'll need some long grained rice. 150 grams is about a big mug full. You'll need either an onion or shallots, doesn't really matter. Clove of garlic or some easy garlic. Mushroom, peppers and stock cube. You'll first thing we need to do is to prepare the garlic and the onions so we're going to chop the garlic as finely as you can or if you prefer you can crush it i'm going to use the claw grip and cut it into thin strips and once those strips are thin cut then i'm going to chop it further so it's in very small pieces next thing i'm going to do is prepare my shallots now they're very similar to onions take the top off take the bottom off get rid of your rubbish from your chopping board and then cut them in half that makes it easier much easier to peel them and then to cut them then you can got a flat bottom to one side where you can then rest on your chopping board same as an onion cut it right the way through but leave a piece at the end so it's all held together now your slices of onion, you need to be at less than a centimetre. Everything needs to be less than a centimetre in size. So I'm going to put some peas in this if you've got some, or you can put some in. And everything needs to be about the same size, so when you eat it, you get more on your fork of different items. If you leave your, your vegetables big, then you'll only get one vegetable on your fork at the same time. So once you've chopped your onions or shallots finely and you really finely chop your garlic you're going to put those into a pan with a little bit of oil in. Now I want to turn the pan on um, but not to a high heat. Medium heat because what we want to do is to cook these very slowly so we're releasing the flavour of the garlic and the onions into the oil that's in the pan which is about half a tablespoon dessert spoonful, a couple of teaspoons full. Right, whilst your onion is really slowly cooking, you're going to prepare your other vegetables. So, it says on the recipe a half, uh, a quarter of pe red pepper and a quarter of another colour. All you're going to do with your peppers is take the top off, cut them in half, and then get rid of the sinewy bits in the middle and the seeds. We don't want those. Cut them into strips, again less than a centimetre, so that we've got a uniform extra ingredients in there. And then cut them into chunks again less than a centimetre so prepare all your extra vegetables at this point because it's easier so slice your mushrooms cut them into strips and again cut them across we're not going to actually use these till quite far down the recipe but while you are waiting for your onions to cook you might as well be getting on with this I've prepared my vegetables I now need to prepare the liquid so you need two stock cubes, whatever flavour stock cube you want is fine. Um, I'm using vegetarian ones, but you don't have to, you could put a chicken stock cube in. You can even put chicken into this at the end if you wish. I'm also going to put some other flavourings into there. I'm going to put a few mixed herbs in, about half a teaspoon. And then I want to make it up and flavour it with whatever else I want. So boiling water in need about 550 mils of water into there to reconstitute so this is what's going to flavor your rice it's going to cook in this and soak it all you up. could use curry powder in there to flavor it and give it a bit of heat if you've got spices at home you like i'm going to put a teaspoon of piri piri in mine so it's chilies in this um paprika you can put smoked paprika in, put whatever you like in. 
So this is my liquid that's going to give the flavour to the rice. Into my onions I'm going to put my peppers, give it a stir. It's on a medium heat, try not to colour your onions. Then I'm going to add into it my rice. And what I'm going to try and do now is coat the rice with the oil that's in the pan. Just that way it takes up the flavours of the garlic and the onions and the peppers. You can add all sorts of vegetables to this. There aren't many veg you couldn't add. I wouldn't add vegetables at the beginning that have got a lot of water in, things like tomatoes. But you can put those in at the end. Once the rice has soaked up all the oil and it's dry on the bottom, we need to then put into it all, so different from risotto where you put a bit at a time, with this one it's easier because you put it all in together. So pop it in, make sure all the ingredients are in the water or in the moisture, in the stock because then they will all cook. So you're leaving that on. You're going to put the mushrooms in as well. Now the mushrooms, it looks like there's lots of them, but they will release their moisture and the flavour into the stock and again flavour your rice. If you wanted to, you could put peas in this as well. You put them in at the end if you want, or you can pop them in at the beginning. What you need to make sure you do is every minute come back to it and give it a stir. The first thing that's got to happen is this has got to start to boil. So you've got to see the bubbles where it's got enough heat in to boil. Once it starts to boil, you then turn it right down to a simmer so that it's just soaking up that, the rice is soaking up all the flavour from the stock. So I can see now it's got some movement, got some bubbles bursting onto the surface of it. So I'm going to turn it down to a simmer and then every minute come back give it a stir while I tidy up. If you're going to eat it straight away you need to finish cooking it a bit longer but if you're going to leave the rice and eat it later then you could leave stop cooking it at this stage because as it's standing this moisture that's left in it when you can just see together that's going to soak into your rice otherwise you'd finish cooking it straight away like I say it just gets you want to reheat it and you have cooked it too much just add a little bit of boiling water into it you must reheat this rice till it's boiling for at least a minute if you let it go cold 